Yo, what's up everyone? Kaga using Haki from African Tech Grad and today we have a special review for you guys today. We're going to be reviewing the iPhone SE 2016 edition and uh, we're going to be seeing if it still stacks up to modern day flagships. Specifically, will it be worth buying in 2021? So the iPhone SE's design is very much similar to Apple's latest designs of their modern day flagships. I'm specifically talking about the iPhone 12 lineup where they have the whole boxy design that actually digs into your hand and uh, for long periods of time is obviously uncomfortable if you don't have a case around it. However, it is still very much nostalgic in its own weird way. I don't know if we actually enjoy phones that dig into our hands maybe it's just me but there's just something about it there's something about that that screams premium with this metal frame and little toggle that you have on the side and obviously the headphone jack r.i.p to the headphone jack and uh, its speakers which are magnificent actually sound actually pretty pretty decent considering that it is a four-year-old phone and uh, let's not forget the Apple logo that still used to go at about the top half instead of the middle of the phone. So yeah, Apple really did obviously refine their design from the SE, but then they somewhat went back to it. So uh, you can take from that what you want. Uh, maybe iPhone is just going back to their roots and uh, they find their roots in this whole boxy design. Jumping straight into the battery life of the SE. By no means is this a battery champ. I have to charge the phone twice a day to get through the day on low power saving mode. And uh, that's actually not the fault of the device. It is a four year old phone. And uh, the longer you have a phone, the longer the wear and tear is obviously going to be. And the strain on the battery basically. And uh, however, that is a totally different scenario when it comes to its 12 megapixel camera. I mean, it's obviously not the best. It doesn't have any periscope or any ultra wide or any of those fancy 2020, 2021 gimmicky features. But considering this is a 2016 phone, you still get respectable shots somewhat. I mean, you still have, you know, iPhones color science however it's obviously not as powerful due to the processing of the device being limited to the a9 chipset and uh, not being close to uh, the a14 by no means so as mentioned before here are a few shots taken on the se so it's obviously not the best but it is doable especially if you're considering that you just had this phone as a spare and you just needed to take a quick picture of something and not necessarily something to you know brag to your friends and say like yo look look at my phone can do i can zoom into the moon or whatever 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 this is just to take standard pictures memorable moments upload them to your cloud and uh, post the little pictures on some i don't know what kids do these days video on the other hand is somewhat relatively the same case as it's image images uh, you can shoot at 4k 30 it is respectable but obviously you don't have the high dynamic range that you find on the latest flagships and uh, the resolution is a bit lacking but that is expected again from 2016 uh, device and uh, considering that it is only a 12 megapixel uh, we can somewhat forgive the SE for having the quality that it does have Okay, so the selfie camera, I mean, it's not really worth mentioning, but you are able to take a selfie. I mean, it's, it's nothing revolutionary. I mean, Apple did a good job considering the time that it was released, but considering the competition of 2020 or 2021 flagships, it's obviously not going to stack up where you have uh, 3D sensors and uh, ultra wide selfie cameras. A 4k 30 on front facing video so we can't really fault the se for any of its lack of sharpness resolution image stabilization it is an older device 
and uh, even in 2016 it wasn't Apple's best and greatest so with regards to that yeah we are going to forgive it for its selfie camera and as well as its rear main sensor camera the SE comes with a 4 inch LCD display that rocks a 326 pixel density when compared to 2020 standards this is obviously not great and uh, you will struggle to actually see you know fine content under direct sunlight but considering that it is from 2016 I guess it is okay with regards to software it does come with iOS 9 but it is upgradable to Apple's latest and greatest which is iOS 14.2 uh, that is supported by the Apple A9 chipset which is a 14 nanometer uh, chipset and it is way past its expiration date and uh, so with regards to fast opening of apps and all of that juicy stuff uh, you will have a bit of struggle over there and obviously there's no expansion slot because apple doing apple and uh the one that i'm rocking right now has a 16 gig of internal storage and uh, two gigs of ram so definitely not the most powerful beast out there uh, with regards to the main character sorry main camera it does rock a 12 megapixel camera and uh, the selfie camera is a mere 1.2 megapixel so with regards to you know uh, high dynamic range and picture quality resolution uh, it's not the best out there not even by 2016 standards with regards to the software experience on the se you obviously able to rock the latest and greatest from apple the ios 14.2 and uh, considering this again is a 2016 phone rocking the latest software you have to take off your hats for apple over here because not only have they supported this for four years but considering its competition who on max they would get like two years uh, only recently samsung from the s10 line is upgrading their software support to three years and even still it's not comparable to the support that iphone gives its devices i mean considering this phone has the exact same software experience as the iphone 12 pro max it's just astonishing it's, it's astonishing however on my phone specifically i have the i'm rocking the ios 11 that is due to obviously space constraints that is uh, another fault of apple back in the day they would only give users well an option to have 16 gigs and this is exactly what i have over here so 16 gigs obviously with all the photos and all the apps that you have on the device it's not going to suffice uh, however that is obviously apple's whole strategy to make users sign up to their cloud services and all that nonsense but um too up for that so I'll have one. yes as mentioned we have to applaud apple for obviously having the latest and greatest software however the touch id is a tad slower on the se uh, that is obviously not its own fault it is maybe because we are blessed with you know much faster face id and all of the other fingerprint uh, sensors out there uh, if i must be honest i think it's even a tad slower than the first generation optical uh, fingerprints which at its first gen wasn't the most fastest but compared to this it does feel as if it is flash so in conclusion who is this phone for i mean who am i recommending this phone to why did i even make this video well that is because i actually feel that the se still has a place with us or specifically in our pockets in 2021 especially if you have just lost your phone or you're looking for a spare phone and um, sometimes you also have kids who are recently being exposed to smartphones and you want to buy them a phone but not too expensive or you get the point kids these days are always on phones as well so i would actually recommend the se because i do believe that it is a solid starter and it's a solid backup phone as well and um, you shouldn't actually take its small size for granted as uh, it might sound very cliche but dynamite does apparently come in very small packages and this is dynamite 
Okay guys, thank you very much for tuning into African Tech Grad and uh, if you enjoyed the video, obviously don't forget to smash that like button and while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as uh, it obviously helps us reach you. And uh, please, comment. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and uh, if you guys have any suggestions while you are in the comments, we would definitely try to make it happen. And uh, with that being said, Kage using Haki, out.